Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. In this tip video, I'm going to show you how to use the Keller Williams mobile search app, also known as the consumer app, as a consumer. Now generally, if you have received a text or a link in any way from your agent, you would click that link to be taken to your Play Store or App Store for iPhone and skip ahead for the first few steps. So as you'll see here, I am on an Android, but these steps should work the same for iPhone. There just may be some different names for each of the buttons. So first, I'm going to swipe up to get to my apps. And then I'm going to go to my Play Store or App Store for iPhone. In my case, it's located in my Google folder. And then I'll swipe to find Play Store and tap to select. Then in the top search bar, I'm going to tap and then start typing Keller Williams. And you'll see the changes down below. So I'm just gonna tap Keller Williams mobile app. And I'm gonna choose the one that says KW buy and sell real estate. It's the white square with the red KW. So tap to select, then tap to install, then tap to open. Now you will, you may see this location verification I'm just going to deny, but you can tap while using the app or only this time. Then tap get started. And you'll be taken through a short tutorial on how to use this app as a consumer. You can press next to tap through the pages or click skip. Next, as a first time user, you will have to tap sign up. If you are returning, tap log in. But you can also tap the X in the top right corner to just use the app without making an account. So after tapping sign up, you'll enter your first name, last name, email address, and set a password. And then I collapse my keyboard by tapping the down arrow. Then tap to check I accept terms at the bottom. Then tap sign up. Next, you should see this screen, you're all set. You can tap anywhere to dismiss. And you'll first be taken to the search screen. You can use two fingers to zoom in to any area that you'd like. And as you zoom in, you should see more little bubbles pop up with the prices of the houses that are listed. And once you zoom in far enough, you'll see the blue boundaries for the neighborhoods as well. So taking a tour of this screen, you'll see the search at the very top. So you can enter a specific city address, school, or zip code. And that'll bring up your keyboard to start typing. You can also view these properties in list form by tapping list in the top right corner. So they'll show in list form. And of course you can toggle back to the map by tapping map in the top right corner. Now the buttons right underneath that are to filter your search. So you can tap for sale to narrow down the statuses 
or you can toggle for rent instead. Once satisfied, tap done. Next is price. You can tap and hold to slide this down to whatever price range you would like. Again, tap done when satisfied. Next is property type. This is where you can change and show only houses, etc. Again, tap done. And then the more option is to edit beds, baths, square foot, etc. Once you have these to your liking, tap show results to apply those changes. Now, right underneath that, you'll see draw on the right hand side. So, if you I'm going to zoom out a little bit more because I was zoomed in quite a bit. You can tap draw to highlight any sort of shape that you want, similar to most MLS websites, to select the houses within that area. If you want to clear, you can tap clear towards the top or towards the bottom to clear that boundary and it'll show you all the, the houses in your view once again. So when you're zoomed in enough, you'll also see this dark gray button right below draw. It says on. If you tap, this is how you can enable or disable the neighborhood boundaries. Now, once you have your settings saved to what search parameters you prefer, then going back up to the top, you'll see the little bookmark ribbon, save. Here is where you can save your search parameters, give it a name, change your email notifications, enable push notifications to your liking, then tap save to save those to your profile. The next page in the app along the bottom is feed. Here is where you can see your news feed of sorts with your safe searches, collections and guide. It's going to default to show all, but you can also narrow them down by tapping through the buttons at the top. So for instance, save searches. If you have a search saved, any new properties that come on will be here. Collections are groups of homes either created by your agent or by yourself by favoriting. And again, all new listings will show up here. And guide is where you are in your transaction process with your agent. And speaking of that is the next section at the bottom, very middle guide. So here you can see the guide according to what your agent has created, either as a buyer or seller. Going to the next screen, saved, again down at the bottom. Here is where you can see your recent collections, your saved searches, or neighborhoods you follow. So going back to the search page really quick, 
I'm going to tap, oh, I want this zoomed in. I'm going to tap this neighborhood that I'm currently in, College Park. If you do so, you'll get the market snapshot, sold stats, properties for sale, what locals say, etc. And if you want to keep up to date with these, you can click follow at the top. So now once we toggle back over to the saved screen, you'll see that that neighborhood is added. And for recent collections, let's go back to the search screen. I'm going to collapse this neighborhood. And I'm going to choose a listing here. Once you tap, you'll be able to swipe up to show all of the pictures, all of the details. And if there's something that you want to favorite, you can tap the heart to add it to your favorites by default, or you can add another collection. Leave notes, and don't forget to save. So again, going back to the saved screen, you'll see that now I have one listing in my favorites collection. So now going to the more section down in the very bottom right corner, you'll see a few different options you have for this app. One being find an agent. If your app is not already branded by an agent, you can search for their name here. Once you find them, tap to select. And if this is the correct agent, you can tap connect and confirm to claim them as your agent. You should see the success screen. Now you can tap anywhere to dismiss. And that was actually my email alert saying I have a new contact. So now headed back over to the more section, you'll see that my agent is listed there at the top. You can view their profile again. This is also where you can find another agent or remove this agent. You can add a co-buyer, such as a spouse or partner. Edit your account, like notifications, you can also see your history, what properties you have recently viewed, find out information about Keller Covered. Keller Mortgage. And you have a handy dandy mortgage calculator. And then down towards the bottom, here's where you can share this app with someone else via different programs on your phone, like text, email, chat. And then of course the legal disclosures and sign out. If you have any questions about this or anything else, let us know and we'll be happy to help. Thank you so much and have a great day.